This is Honda's newest mower, their HRX series, and it's supposed to be the best lawn mower on the market, but I wanted to find out myself what makes these machines so expensive and decide if it's really worth it for your own lawn at home. So I bought this machine and I put it through a series of tests to understand what these features can do and see if it's worth the price. The mower we'll be reviewing is Honda's HRX 217HYA with a 200cc engine. Now Honda makes a lot of different models, in fact I think they make too many different ones, but if you're a smart shopper you can actually use this to your advantage so that you can get a better mower for a lower price. I'm going to take you through the features of this machine, but the most important one is how does it cut the lawn. Now this area of my yard was growing really well and the grass was about 4 to 6 inches and it was loaded with all kinds of debris and pine needles. The vacuum ability of this mower was excellent. It did a great job picking up the pine needles and most importantly the cut was really good. The grass looked great and there were no issues at all, but bagging is usually an easy part of any kind of test. I wanted to see how well could it mulch the same area. I started by making several passes with the bag on and the mower set to full bagging mode. Now this slope is really steep, it's a lot harder than the video makes it look. That's why I'm having such a tough time keeping the line straight. And of course the bag sections look great and this was no surprise because the machine had already performed very well using a bag. But now we needed to go and cut the other section using full mulching mode. With the machine set up, all I needed to do was mark the area between the sections and I was ready to go. As I started mowing, I realized I made one mistake. I forgot to take the bag of the mower off. Now the lever is in fact in the full mulching mode and when I take a turn here, you can see that the lever is all the way to the right. But for the sake of the video, I did pause and took the bag off so that you could see that I made the rest of the passes completely in the mulching mode. I was done and looked really closely at both sections and I could not believe what I was seeing. I could not see a difference between the bag section or the mulch sections on the lawn. This Honda did the best job mulching a lawn of any mower I've ever used. Now most mowers can bag or mulch, but this thing takes it a step further with a system they call Versamo. You've got a lever here that goes between bag and mulch, but what's really unique about it is this mechanism. When you change that lever, you can see that piece slides inside the machine, and you don't need any sort of mulching plugs or any other additions, but the system goes even further, because you can place the lever in the middle, and now you can do a little bit of both. So if you have a large lawn, you can actually bag some of the clippings and mulch some of the others. Hondas use a very unique blade system, in fact they use two blades together. Now these will cost you a bit more when you need to replace them, they're actually about $30. But they say that this design will do a better job cutting and mulching your lawn. Honda mowers come in two deck varieties. You can either get steel decks or this. This is their plastic deck called Nexite. Now you might think this is the cheaper deck, but this is in fact their premium or the highest level deck they offer and it can cut from 3 quarters of an inch all the way to 4 inches. But the most important thing is you've got a lifetime warranty on this deck, but only for the original owner. They engineered this thing to fold forward to save space, but they also engineered those same knobs to allow you to be more comfortable. And you can select one of three positions to put the handle in. Now these holes don't look very far apart, but when you step back and look at the difference they make, it really can make mowing the lawn a lot more comfortable. Honda says they have this easy start system, but personally I didn't find this any harder or easier to start than any other modern mower. But what I did like is that they have an auto choke, which means you can just pull the cord and you don't have to mess with anything else to start the machine. Honda has two types of transmissions for their self-propelled mowers. Now one of them uses this orange handle, and this is a type of cruise control. You get the mower going, and then you can set the exact speed that you want to mow. This is actually more expensive than this system, which is called their Smart Drive. Now this thing works great, and you just move the handle to the position that gives you the speed you want. I find the Smart Drive is easier for most people, especially if they don't mow a lot, but personally I went for the cruise control version because I have a very bumpy yard, and I didn't want my hand to control the speed, so with this one I just set the speed and then I just go along with the mower. This is a feature that many Honda mowers have and I absolutely love. It's a type of blade clutch and they call it auto stop, but all that means is you can actually start your mower and let it idle without actually spinning the blades. Now in real life the benefit is if you're mowing the lawn and you need to say stop to pick up a kid's toy, you can let go of that yellow button and handle and the mower will keep idling but the blade will stop. So now when you want to resume mowing, all you've got to do is squeeze the handle and you can start mowing the lawn again. 
It saves wear and tear in the machine and it just seems like a more convenient feature that most people like. This grayish bag that's actually bigger than almost every other bag on the market. It's 2.5 bushels and your average bag is about 2.3. So that means more time mowing and less time dumping. Well, this is kind of a secret that many owners never know their mower can do. If you actually set the machine to bag mode, but you take the bag off, you're giving your mower unrestricted access to fire the clippings out. But that cover actually allows you to do rear discharge. This is pretty clever and the clippings will actually go out behind the machine. After using this mower for almost two months, I can tell you it's the best walk behind lawnmower I've ever used. And if you decided to get this one, I think you'd be very happy. But this machine is expensive. It's almost $800. But the secret to all Honda mowers is that they all share the same cutting system. So even if you get their mower that's under $500, you should get the same quality of cut. But when I did my research, I found that the best value in their entire lineup was the HRX 217 VKA. You can usually buy this for just over $600 at a lot of different retailers, and they pack just about every feature into this mower. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.